blivit välkomna när man kommer hem, eller? In the end of August, we came back to Hilma in Tahiti. Since we were anchored in the far end of the anchoring area, we were lucky and had great view over the tournament that was going on. There were canoes entering from all directions and sadly there was a lot of them competing just next to us which was really fun to see. In the front there is a leader. We had a few days in Tahiti until it was September when our friend Björn would come and visit us again. And then we wanted to be ready to sail to Morea. Hello. How are you? Fine. But sick. Yeah. We came two days ago, three days ago almost. And we've both been sick from the airplane I think. It's uh, airplane germs. <laughs> so we've been staying in bed for two days and this is the first day we actually can go ashore. Yeah. And we have so much work to do on board so and we pretty much have to leave soon, leave soon so we kind of uh, we're not on schedule. Late. <laughs> yeah, we're late. Yeah. So we just back home from uh, Sweden and we bought some a lot of uh, spare parts. Uh, this is the new um, autopilot control. The old one broke down and, uh, for a few weeks ago and um, we have some uh, big issues with that because the, we need new power supply and we, knew, uh, we need uh, some new cables for it. And um, also the new system used the new uh, NG and we used the seat of one. So that's kind of a mess for us since we uh, need to um, connect it with the old system and we don't need uh, we don't have the cables on board so uh, as you see <coughs> we're in kind of a big mess on board uh, here's the where the new panel will go and right now I'm middle of uh, pulling in new cables for the power supplies we also bought this uh, kind of um, I don't know what the word is kind of a bus for the NG or the converter for the NG so that's what I'm working on right now Lisa is uh, on shore to do the laundry before we will take off in a few days and we have a kind of a big mess on board every tool we have is uh, unpacked and all the cables and everything so that's what we're working on our dinghy has uh, leaked for a while and uh Oscar pump it every day, but how's it going? Um, not so well actually. Um, I managed to um, uh, fix this part so it's not leaking anymore, but then I realized that this um, connector is actually broken. So what I try to do now is basically remove this part and block the holes to um, get the air stay in this part and hopefully it will work. Anyway, not mm. so good, but it's better than nothing. Yeah. So, to be continued. <laughs> good luck. Thanks. I think it's good that we have uh, visitors from time to time, because they can bring spare parts, <laughs> they can bring spare parts and I finally cleaned. <laughs> what did you do there? Put an end. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a bolt for the rig. Mm -hmm. And the rig is still safe. <laughs> <laughs> it's a spare part. Mm. Are you sure? <laughs> Pass. <laughs> <laughs> it's not leaking anymore though. So that's a good thing. But you think we're gonna have some bumpy rides maybe? Yeah, I'm not sure what happened to the ding, is this, that part uh, actually is kind of a peel. Stabilize it. So it might be, it might doesn't work that well, but it's better to have a dinghy that works kind of well. Mm. Compared to if it's not working at all. 
Yeah. And maybe we'll find that pot in the future. And I'm putting some new patches here in the bottom as well. <laughs> Hur gick det? Okay. Inlagning? Eh, du, så jävla bra. Båten är tät. Men vi har ju ingen köl då, men den flyter och man behöver inte pumpa den varje dag så jag är sjukt glad och fruktig över det. Bra. Och så är du lycklig över att Björn är här? Ja, mycket. <laughs> det är jag också. Man är myten, konceptet Björn Vartman. Han har redan varit med en gång. He's back. <laughs> How's it going? Not so good. We can't get the anchor on, and we haven't used the anchor since we've been to Sweden for three weeks. And uh, now the windlass doesn't work at all. So I guess it's uh, I don't know oh. some short circuit to that thing. So uh, the thing is that it's kind of hard to reach in there, but uh, hopefully we solve it in a few hours. to Moria but we had to visit the customs office again. Yeah we need some kind of paper to get easel for some reason. Yeah. I really know about that. Trevlig utflykt igen va? Verkligen. Det är kul att se lite av öl också. Ja. We had to go to the main port of Tahiti to get the papers that was about one hour away. We went there inside the reef, got the papers, went back again and finally we were on our way to Moria, which is an island a few hours east of Tahiti. There were some hiking trails on the island and the next morning we took the bus to one of them. We have found that one in one of our guidebooks and we're planning to walk over a mountain and back to the bay again. In the beginning of the trail we met a French girl who joined us. Okay, so that's France. Flip flop. The walk in the mountain was beautiful, but it was so hot and from time to time we were not sure about where to go so we had to stay and look at the map and think. We found the ridge and had an amazing view over the island. So Björn, can you tell us where we are? Uh, here we're in Maria. Looking down at Maria Bay, and some um, jungle, <laughs> a few mountain tops. And our boat is down there in Cook Bay. Somewhere over here. Yeah. Into so long for the top. No. As usual, Oscar did a hike in flip flops, but luckily there were some ropes that we could hang on to on our way down. We often do the mistake to not bring food when we hike. This time we bought lunch, but we also wanted some bananas. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Jag fick några större nu. Bra. The big one. Jag tar några mer. Så. Okej. Okay. Okej. Okay. <laughs> okay. Och så lägger jag upp. Vad? Okej. Tack. Tack. Perfekt. Du har säckarna där, det är det de har på att plantera. Ja. Så att det dröjer en stund när ni kommer att ändra den där. Var är de guys? Eh, de är skånd. Vi har till och med att det är only 50 procent för att de kommer att survive, så... Lack lyssas. Där är du. Hallå, vill du berätta något kanske? Nej. We picked Björn up a short while later. We were anchored in this bay a few days, most of the time all alone, which we thought was strange because it was protected and a good anchoring spot. Nej, fortsätt du Björn. Vi ska bara dit upp. Det var väldigt fin teknik. Kör på med snöret där bara lite. Ska det ordna sig. Jag kommer inte ner. Kör på med snöret där bara. Ska vi se att det ordnar sig. Ska du upp eller ner? Ner. Alltså kokosnöten är där uppe Björn. Jag är bara trädet i vägen också. Behöver du hjälp eller? Vill du ha hjälp? Nu kommer du snubbla på det på ett ställe.
Så, då ska vi se. Kokosnötten är björn. 1-0. De är fortfarande kvar. Det är inte bra när jag ska ner i nötten av björn. Där Bra. kom en. Ja, men alltså björn kokosnötträdet 1-1. Var försiktig. We read that about 16,000 people live on Moria. We actually thought it was more, but perhaps it felt that way because of a lot of tourists go there. It probably because it's so close to Tahiti and also because it's a wonderful island. It was a great place and we really liked it a lot. The nature was beautiful both on the island and also in the ocean around it. One day we took a trip to another bay, we went inside the reef with our dinghy since it was too shallow for Hilma. When we jumped into the water we got accompanied by curious reef sharks and a lot of stingrays. One afternoon we decided it was time to sail north. We could see in the forecast that the wind was northerly, which has been for a few days. But we wanted to try and hope that the wind direction already had started to change. We sailed for an hour or so, but as it turned out the forecast was all right this time. Therefore we decided to go back and have a good night of sleep in a calm anchoring and then continue with better winds the next morning. But first Oscar was going for a dinghy tour.
As you can see we had a great sail back again, even though it got a bit too calm when we came closer to the island. We're glad we decided to wait until the next day, because on our way back we spotted some humpback whales. It was the second time we'd seen them near Tahiti, but we hardly managed to catch them with a camera. The next morning the two whales were there again, and again a bit too far away from the camera. For several weeks we saw humpback whales a lot of times, but our closest the best picture of them are from New Way, where they came really close to our anchoring. But that's one thing that will be shown in a future episode.